Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Averin Lefebvre, and in this video, we're going to be reviewing the Marhar Woodsman. This board features Marhar's zero camber directional powder freestyle, so you get more rocker in the nose, flat section through the inserts, and a tiny little bit of rocker out in the tail. This is going to give you optimal powder float as well as ease of entry in and out of turns. This board is only available in 145. I rode this board at Copper Mountain on an overcast day that was lightly snowing. There was fresh corduroy, powder pockets, chunder pow, heavy wet damaged pow, and I rode it with my Rome Black Label bindings and my K2 Thraxxus boots. Clearly, you have a fully directional flex if you look at the shape of this board. Now the overall flex comes in just below a middle of the road, so what you do get is completely softer nose, stiffening up right by the front insert through the middle to the tail, and then you get that rocker zone where it's a little softer, not crazy, with a lot of torsional flex. Now the width of this board does give some stability between the inserts. That nose rocker gets a lot of chatter, you feel a lot of flap going on, and that does resonate back under the front foot realistically in rutted out terrain as long as you're smart with it you're not going to get bucked around but if you go into it screaming Leroy Jenkins as loud as you can and just point it right in you're going to get bucked around so keep those knees bent because it can wash out. All your pop comes from your back foot so hopefully you didn't skip leg day and you fully understand that your spring and snap is mostly coming from your rear leg. So what you put in is what you're going to get out of it. So the nose is like a giant spatula. This is the area where you're going to be doing all your buttering with it. You can just press right into it. It's gonna lock and hold, especially in fresh snow or even on a groomer. With the tail, it's all about high speed pow wheelies and that's pretty much what you're gonna be able to do with it. The big thing to note with this board is there's limitations when you're getting it on edge. Sure, it'll roll over smoothly, but what happens is sometimes the nose kicks out because it's softer than that center section from insert to insert. So when you really drive into it, it gets wonky and starts to kick out. This thing's really designed for medium mellow carves or short, tight, quick turns. That's really where it locks in. If you're trying to rail hard turns, it's just not going to happen. That's not what this board's designed for. And with that softer nose flex, like I said, it does make things a little more difficult than they need to be when you're engaging into a turn. Who's this board for? The powder chasing tree free rider guy that wants a volume shifted directional board. So for this year, they tweaked the core profiling on it to make it a little softer, especially in the nose. I don't think that was a really good idea because you get more flap out there as well as you don't have the power to drive through a turn. It just becomes a little more loose than it absolutely needs to be. Otherwise, it's fun in the trees, it's solid in pow, you can zip around the mountain on it when you want to, and you know, it just doesn't suck for that aspect. It's just when you push into it and you demand more, it just doesn't live up to it. Comparable boards, the Nidecker Mosquito, the Telos Backslash, the K2 Niseko Pleasures. This has been my review of the Marhar Woodsman. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you own one? Are you going to buy one? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation about this snowboard. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not missing any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really want to help us just grow out what we're doing over here, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP. I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Averin Lefebvre, and I'll see you in another video.